Devin Lariat has one of the most effective, if not the most effective technique in a multiple round format. If Devin is even close to his opponent in terms of maximal strength, and he can simply stop the match, he is almost guaranteed to win from there. Of course, Devin does have world class endurance, and this endurance plays a big role in his ability to win long drawn out matches. However, Devin's technique is just as important as his endurance. Devin's technique is specifically designed to gas his opponent opponent out over time. It may appear as though the only reason Devin wins close matches is because of his endurance, but this is not the case. Anyone can adopt Devin's technique and instantly become better at winning longer matches. This video will break down Devin Laird's technique and strategy for super match arm wrestling and explain how to apply it to your style. The first step in Devin's strategy is understanding what your goal is when the match starts. For example, many people attempt to flash pin their opponent or perhaps force their opponent into a hook. Devin's goal is very simple. He wants to obtain a position that is more efficient than his opponent. Being more efficient in arm wrestling means that your opponent is working harder than you are. If your opponent is working harder than you are, they will burn more energy faster and gas out quicker. By increasing your efficiency, you are effectively increasing your endurance. And increasing your efficiency is applicable to any style of arm wrestling. First, let's take a look at Devin's outside game. We see Devin putting all of his efforts into cracking Dave Chafee's wrist back. In the initial moments of this match, Devin is not very efficient. But by cracking Dave's wrist back, he gains access to a much more efficient position in the King's move. The reason the King's move is so effective is not because it's strong, but because it is efficient. One of the very best ways to achieve higher efficiency in arm wrestling is to incorporate your bone structure into the match. Muscles fill up with blood and gas out through use, decreasing their power over time. Bones, however, simply break or they don't break. They don't get tired in the same way that muscles do. So if you can use your bones to combat someone's muscles, it doesn't matter how good their endurance is, you will always be more efficient. And that's exactly what we see here from Devin. Initially, Devin uses his elbow flexors and pronator to crack Dave's wrist back. But immediately after this, he rolls onto the inside of his elbow. Devin is now in a position where the only way for Dave to pin him is to break his arm. Devin is using his bone structure and Dave is still using his musculature, meaning that of course Dave will get tired way faster than Devin does. Some people think that Devin only goes to the King's move because he is forced there by his opponent, but this is not always the case. Oftentimes, Devin actually wants to go to the King's move because he knows that it is a very efficient position. His opponents think they are so close to getting a pin when in reality they have fallen right into Devin's trap. They burn all of their energy fighting a losing battle and Devin wins the match just like he planned. We see Devin using the exact same strategy for inside arm wrestling. When Devin arm wrestles in a hook, for him it is all about bringing his shoulder forward. Of course, this shoulder forward position is a strong position, which is important, but again, it's all about efficiency. If Devin is in a defensive hook position like we see here, he is heavily relying on his bicep. His bicep is a muscle, so it will fill up with blood and get tired over time. And even Devin will eventually run out of gas. Whereas in this position here, with his shoulder forward, Devin is not relying on his bicep. He is simply relying on his bones not breaking. As long as Devin's elbow and humerus don't snap in half, he essentially has unlimited endurance. Devin is using his bones to attack Jerry's muscles. Devin's bones don't get tired, but Jerry's muscles certainly do. And this brings us to another very important point. If you are more efficient than your opponent is, there is no reason to ever pin them. If you are more efficient, your opponent is getting tired faster than you are. If your opponent wants to sit there and burn all their energy away, you should let them. If you pin them, all that you are doing is restarting the match and losing the advantage you just worked so hard to gain. Once you gain an advantage, you should hold on to it as long as you can. And once Devin has gained an advantage, he is also very effective at trash talking his opponents. The purpose of this is to bait them into burning more energy than they would have otherwise. Devin is often able to get his opponents to fight from a hopeless position for a very long time, making his strategy work even better. Most of the time in arm wrestling, as soon as someone feels that they can pin their opponent, they go for the pin. 
If the format was a best of one, there wouldn't necessarily be anything wrong with this strategy, but if the format has multiple rounds, this strategy is not optimal. Even if you feel like you can finish the match, instead of going for the pin, you can just continue to climb and continue to improve your position. The more you climb and improve your position, you will become more and more efficient. Eventually, you could be in a position that's so advantageous that you are only using 50% effort while your opponent is still using 100% effort. In a multi-round format, it is crucial to have the mindset of winning the war over winning the battle. So how do you apply this on the table? The two main ways to improve your efficiency are by increasing leverage and bringing your bone structure into the match. Increasing your leverage can be done in many ways. One example would be to climb higher out onto your opponent's hand, which lengthens your opponent's lever. Another way would be to increase the depth of your grip, which shortens your own lever. And as mentioned earlier, the two primary ways to bring your bone structure into the match are by bringing your shoulder forward or by using the king's move. However, as a disclaimer, anytime you bring your bone structure into the match, you are increasing the danger of injury. So I can't recommend that you do this. Something else that is very important to talk about is making your opponent think that he still has a chance. Once you start climbing and improving your position, you can theoretically continue this process until your opponent has nothing left. However, if you improve your position too much, your opponent may just give up. So there is definitely a balance of climbing enough to where your efficiency is increased, but not too much so that your opponent continues to burn energy. There is also a bit of acting that can come into this process. If you appear to be trying harder than you really are, and maybe throw in a few fake pin attempts, your opponent is more likely to keep burning energy. It's also worth noting that this style is obviously pointless in a tournament format except for one situation. If you are in the finals coming from the loser's bracket and therefore have to beat your opponent two times in a row, this could be useful in a tournament setting. So to wrap up, if you want to arm wrestle using Devin Lirit's game plan, your initial goal is to obtain a position more efficient than your opponent. From there, you can continue to improve your position to whatever extent you want. And unless it's the final round, never ever pin your opponent. You want your opponent to expend as much energy as possible, so you are trying to keep him in the match for as long as possible. Eventually, your opponent will give up after totally gassing out. From here, you simply repeat the process, but the later rounds will be far easier as your opponent's strength has been significantly reduced. I think that Devin's strategy is the best strategy for a super match format, and honestly, I'm pretty surprised that more people don't copy it. Hopefully this video shows that endurance is not the only reason Devin wins close matches. With enough practice, anyone can learn to arm wrestle like Devin Larratt.